Hey guys, so I know, I know, I know, I promised to give y'all this video a while ago, but let's just get into these salmon and shrimp Alfredo egg rolls because they were just fire, period, okay? <laughs> so um, I was just excited to be back in Texas to cook for my man and you know, I had to do me a little dance to kind of loosen up, warm up, the music was playing, it was feeling good. So we're gonna do some egg rolls, okay? So the first thing I did was I chopped up a half an onion actually you know what I think that was a whole onion but it was just kind of small and I had already peeled and cut the top and the bottom off of it so one whole onion and just you know thinly sliced so you could cut it up however you want because it's going to get cooked down so it doesn't really matter you just don't want no super chunky big big ass pieces you know what I'm saying so just make sure you chop it up really well after we get it chopped up, I'm going to go ahead and sit it to the side. So I have a plate right here. I'm just going to sit that to the side while I get my other vegetables. So I think I used about three or four cloves of garlic, fresh garlic, peeled, chopped, minced, whatever. <laughs> but just chop it up really good. And then I used a bunch of green onions and I just thinly sliced them. Kind of almost like mint style, but just you know just chop it up really fine and um the bald head y'all i had blonde short blonde hair and i had cut off all the blonde so i can regrow it so i'm just like oh girl you really got a fade <laughs> like it's really a fade but that's okay because i was rocking my fade i was cute with my fade so you know all of that i am not my hair miss india Ari. you feel me <laughs> So after we get the green onion chopped up, you're going to just go over it again. I wanted it really minced up. I'm going to save some for decor, um, you know, for like my plating when I sprinkle it on there. Because, you know, you ain't got to use parsley all the time. Sometimes you can just use a little green onion and it'll be okay. You ain't got to do too much. Not too much on the parsley. So sit that to the side and then you're going to wash and dry your mushrooms. Make sure y'all pat the mushrooms dry because mushrooms contain moisture so when you saute in it you want to have like that kind of like brown you know seared look on it they need to be dry and if they're wet they just gonna be mushy they're gonna be so mushy and they're not gonna just they're just not gonna have the right color you want you know I like color in my food so I chopped the mushrooms up and I'm just kind of chopping them up finer because remember they're going in egg roll so you want to take a bite out of your egg roll and get all of the filling you don't want to have no big chunks of vegetables you just want it to have balance you feel me so go ahead and get your mushrooms chopped up nicely like this and then sit those to the side now using my other cutting board i am going to slice my salmon and i'm going to just do it in some little cubes so you see i slid it in three pieces at first and then I did decide afterwards like hmm let me make these a little bit smaller and you also want to make sure you take the skin off um there are so many videos and instructions on how to remove the skin from the salmon um there are so many different methods you can cut it you could add like a little hot water to the skin it's just whatever makes it easier for you but I didn't show it in this video I'm just simply showing me chop it up I was also pissed off because I didn't have my Chef V Cakes Cajun seasoning and I only had to use, I only was able to use what was in his house. So I was like, babe, why you ain't tell me you ain't had none of my seasoning? I need to, I need to bring you some ASAP, you know? So we're going to go ahead and just cut the salmon up to a uh, nice size pieces. I would say maybe about a half an inch. So a quarter, you know, a quarter of inch to a half an inch it just is your preference, really. But I'm sitting that to the side and then we're going to season. So I think I use garlic powder. I use some Creole powder. I use onion powder and I just season them really, really well just to make sure that they had good flavor. Um, and then I think I don't know what seasoning is magic something, but I use that. It was like a Cajun Creole type seasoning. So I use that. But I recommend using my Chef V Cakes Cajun Seasoning, which is available on my website for order. And then you just mix it up. Make sure it's fully coated. Make sure you get all of those pieces and they should be seasoned like that. 
So now um, I am peeling my shrimp. They're already um, deveined. They just had the tail on. So I'm splitting them in half because they're pretty small shrimp. So I warmed up some olive oil in my pan and now I'm just going to go ahead and saute that salmon. So you're going to make sure that salmon has a nice sear. Make sure you cook it for about three to four minutes until it's done. Side note, I do not care for Walmart salmon. It has a very fishy taste. But you're going to use that same pan and maybe add a little bit more oil and do your shrimp. Once you remove the shrimp, you are going to saute your onions, mushrooms, garlic, and then you're going to add a half a bag of the spinach. Once you add that bag of spinach and it's cooked down, you're going to add about a cup of Parmesan cheese and... I would say maybe a few tablespoons of heavy whipping cream just until you get it to this consistency that I'm going to show you. It should be like a it should be thicker than a dip, almost like a bechamel sauce, like before you uh, I really can't explain it, but you want it to be kind of thick, thick and cheesy. You want like a, a cheese spread, I guess I should say you want a cheese spread. So I'm going to insert a picture here to show you exactly how my egg roll wraps were laid out because I did use two egg roll wraps per egg roll so I can fit all of that stuffing in and make them big. So you want to make sure that you um, put the, the filling down first just so it will be less messy. And then you're going to add your shrimp and your salmon on top. And then I added a little cheddar and Kobe Jack cheese for a little razzle dazzle, you feel me? And then I'm going to go ahead and start rolling up this thing okay and it's so big like when i tell y'all these egg rolls is so big man my friend was like oh my god is an egg roll glizzy <laughs> but yeah so that's that's funny but i um really enjoyed these and they were so big like i only ate one i could not eat more than one and it was just filling, really filling. So make sure that you wrap it up really good. Make sure you check your ends. Make sure that they stay down because you don't want that cheese filling to come out. And then it'll just be like burnt, burnt up cheese everywhere. So just make sure all your corners are closed. And then you should have a nice egg roll like these. So in a shallow pan, you see I washed that pan out. Or I think I might have used a different one, but whatever. So I put my... um oil in the pan use whichever oil you like I think I use canola oil and then you're gonna fry them up and look how beautiful they are look how big this egg roll is I want y'all to see it in my hand it is freaking huge okay huge so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half because I'm gonna plate it for her bay and it busts out the back because it's so like these egg rolls got a bbl okay baby but look at that look at the inside of those egg rolls they look delicious and look at him in the back I'm awesome is it almost done <laughs> so I did go ahead and use my pan that had the cheese mixture in it and I just added more heavy cream a little bit of um parmesan cheese the rest of that parmesan cheese to make an alfredo sauce so now I'm cutting mine up I almost dropped that shit oh my gosh but anyway so Cut it in half like this. This is just a cute way to cut it. You don't have to cut it like this. But I just wanted to show y'all the inside and how great it looks. So then you're going to plate it up. That little extra Alfredo sauce, you're going to go ahead and pour that on top. Just a little drizzle. Because, you know, egg rolls, you always want some kind of dip. So why not just have the Alfredo sauce? You feel me? And then those green onions that we have chopped up real fine, just add a little bit of those on top. A little razzle-dazzle. And look at how the sun is hitting them egg rolls like it's glistening like my skin it's giving i don't know it's just giving like fire eat me bite me right now mm, so good y'all thank you for watching